Hi everyone, my name is Sadna Singh of Long and Foster, Atlantic One Real Estate Group. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to Teresa Brumble of Moore Medical Massage and Laser LLC. Uh, we're based in Summers Point right now and I'm really excited to talk to Teresa. She took time she, of her lunch break. She's a busy girl, uh, uh, a woman-owned business, and it's, it really makes me proud to be able to talk to you today. Well, thank you. Thank um, you for having me. Teresa, tell me, how did you get involved in, in your beautiful medical spa? We started out um, really as a home-based business. I, I started out um, at home as a, med as a massage therapist, and I extended the business um, when I bought the laser. And that happened in 2014, 16, I'm sorry. And then I worked more with medical and therapeutic and pain. And then I moved into um, a doctor's office, um, a holistic center, wellness center, and uh, mostly worked with pain. And when my practice got to the point where I was uh, had a waiting list, I I wound up opening this office, so well, that's, that's, that's how it wonderful. started. It's, and it's a beautiful, beautiful healthcare facility. Thank you. <laughs> um, how, uh, talk a little bit about your educational background and how you feel you've made yourself um, able to provide expertise in, in, in healing. It's interesting. I started out in radiology. I was a CT and MRI technologist um, mm -hmm. for almost 20 years before I decided to go into um, massage. I traveled around the country and worked in um, Minneapolis, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Arizona, and Portland, Oregon. And I came back in 2011 and there wasn't a lot of work, so I went back to school for massage, always wanting to be on the medical side. Started um, that, started my business right out of school, and from there I um, went to my first medical massage seminar. Mm -hmm. and that. That was it. Maybe, maybe I, you, yeah. So then I continued my education as a medical massage practitioner. I became um, the first medical massage practitioner in South Jersey, actually in the area, um, in 2000, actually last year in May. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's, it's been amazing. Um, tell us about some of the procedures that you're able to perform for your clients. So typically what I do is I bring a patient in for their initial consultation. Everybody that comes in to see me is coming because they're in pain. Um, so I do an initial consultation. I check every layer of tissue. I check their central nervous system. Um, I check their fascia, their muscles, trigger points. Um, I check to see if they have a herniated disc. And then I proceed with my, my protocol from there. I usually will laser them, which will reduce the inflammation, brings blood flow to the area, and it heals on a cellular level. Um, from there, I incorporate what medical massage protocol I need to use as well. And then they typically see me, if it's something chronic, 10 to 15 visits mm -hmm. um, within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then if it's something acute, a new injury, mm -hmm. then they come in. It's about four to six, four to eight visits if it's an acute injury. What is one thing that you, you feel limits you sometimes in, in your business? Um, insurance. I yeah. just started. I was just going to say, yeah. the, uh, I do insurance, the payers. So in the state of New Jersey, massage is covered with a medical doctor's note. Um, I just received my NPI number, which is a national oh, provider identification number. Yes. So I'm working right now, and that's my goal for 2020, is to be able to become provi a provider that's under great. different insurances. So I'm working right now with Medicare and Aetna. Um, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, and you know, we'll go from there. That's wonderful. And what is uh, one thing that you'd want to share with the community and on our community webpage that you feel um, that your business offers that people might not know about? I think a lot of people feel that massage is a luxury, mm -hmm. and it really is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Uh, you need to keep your your body in homeostasis, and in order to do that you need to have everything working optimal. You know, your, your skin needs to slide along the fascia and the muscles and your internal organs need to be working properly. 
um, in order, and your spine needs to be aligned. Everything needs to be in order in order to be in homeostasis. And that's what I do. I bring the body to homeostasis. That's wonderful. This has been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm Sadna uh, from Long & Foster Atlantic One Real Estate Group. Check us out on our community webpage, parkbench.com, Egg Harbor Township. And if you uh, would like to be featured in an interview, please call us and get in touch with us. In the meantime, thank you, Teresa, of thank More you. Medical Massage. And I will will check us out on our webpage. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So this is my office. I made it a little bit bigger. <laughs> this is the laser. This is typically what I do to start um, my protocol on anybody with pain, because if you have pain, you have inflammation, so that reduces the inflammation. Um, and typically a session is about between 45 minutes and an hour, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and then if you come out, we'd have our lobby I use the inversion table for um, my herniated disc protocol. So anybody with a herniated disc, especially in the low back mostly, um, we would use the inversion table for their protocol. Um, we have a lot of supplies. We have CBD, um, essential oils, everything that to help with pain um, naturally. This is um, an office where I have massage therapists that do um, prenatal massage, lymphatic drainage, therapeutic massage, and it's wonderful. they're available pretty much five days a week, six, actually seven days a week. I have someone that comes in on Sundays as well. And then um, our products, CBD, um, all natural holistic products, either made by someone we know <laughs> or somebody or you know young living or other companies and then our cbd line is all organically grown um all full spectrum which means it does have the legal amount of thc and we have uh, immune tea that comes from a patient of mine who makes it homemade and cough syrup honey and then rachel also makes up an immune tonic she has quite a few mother's milk she has quite a few things that she's made up herself 